All in the ring from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at 212 pounds, this is Lee Scott. And his opponent now making his way to the ring area, accompanied by his manager, Mr. Gary Hart. From the double cross stretch in Amarillo, Texas, he weighs 241 pounds. Terry Funk. Well, there's the introduction. Here comes Wild Terry Funk. And you're going to be talking with him a little bit later in today's program, Bob. We mentioned earlier, this is the weekend of Halloween Havoc and the big Thunderdome match. This man right here, you, you I think, aptly named him when you said the wild man. Woo. And I think regardless of what happens this weekend, you got to watch this man. I think he's determined to settle one-on-one, -on -one, whatever his argument is with Ric Flair. Yeah, that allegation has certainly been made. We're seeing him in the ring with young Lee Scott, and I think you... Uh, Viewers of the NWA Pro Wrestling Program know that we really like this young oh, oh, oh. I don't know how much longer we're going to like him. He saw, oh boy, you see Gary Hart clotheslined him as he tried to run around the ring. Lee Scott reached up there, Bob, and slapped him right in the face. And you know what Gary Hart is going to say? He's going to say, hey, I was just waving to a fan out yeah. there, and he ran right into my arm. That's what he's telling referee Nick Patrick out there right now. Look at Lee Scott go, trying to get away from Funk. He runs around, ducking under it. Funk trying to lay his hands on him. He's the man he could fight pin penny nails. Hey, and you know that's one thing you don't want to do is lose your cool, even if you're Terry Funk. Because I tell you, when, you, when you're not really thinking clearly in the ring, an upset can happen. Lee Scott, who had that standing side headlock, is Funk threw him off. Lee held on by the hair, but Funk got him back, grabbed the hair of Scott, jerked him right off the feet, closed him out on the ring, locking that restraining fence all the way back towards the crowd, and Funk loves it down there, battling on the floor. He has complete disregard for his own body, his opponent's body, life or limb in the ring. He bets you that. He's got him up. Boy, the pile driver slams him down into the floor. Poor Lee Scott. Rolls him back into the ring, and Terry, not far behind him, hops back up to clean up the mess that he started. Boy, he, after he got him out on the floor. There's a count. One, two, three. And Terry Funk defeats a game young Lee Scott. over his right in the face. I guess he was trying to show him off right there after Scott had the guts to reach up and slap him to begin with. Terry Funk. And right here you see it in our replay, that devastating career-ending maneuver, that pile driver of Terry Funk, as he had Scott outside of the ring, picked him back up, rolled him back into the ring from this point, man. And it was all over with our winner, Terry Funk.